Hi there. I just. Clucky. Hey, cluck, cluck, cluck. Got an idea how to make Chuck E. Cheese's better than ever. <laughs> Lots of sauces and plenty of cheese. <laughs> Ew. 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 That pizza looks disgusting! Jumping and spinning and laughing and grinning. Go back. Go back. Go back. First of all, you don't know what's in that deep ass, disgusting ass ball pit. All it takes is one time for one time, one time only, for a hand to come out. Ooh, snatch your kid right up. Sheep, man, man, what? Ready? Here in the kitchen making the best pizza in town. Chucky Cheeses is better than ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> On today's video, we're going to be telling you five scary true Chuck E. Cheese stories that we know. So right now, if you're excited at home, grab a drink, grab a snack, because this one is going to be insane. Also, make sure to like this video right now, okay? Today's goal on this video is 20,000 likes. So check that number right now. If it's not 20,000 likes, then you make it happen. Also, leave a comment down below about Chuck E. Cheese. And if we love your comment, we'll shout you out on the next video. And here's today's daily shout out. So congratulations guys, you guys are amazing and trust me on this one, watch the whole video because you're not going to want to miss any story that we're going to tell you. And without further ado, let's jump right into the first scary Chuck E. Cheese story. Look at that motherfucker. It was the night of March 13, 2015. Chuck E. Cheese was packed to capacity. Everyone was busy. Parents were watching their children. Workers were working hard. And Chuck E. Cheese music was blasting through the crowd. Are those his friends? Everyone was having a really fun night. Kids were having their birthdays. And parents were... What a kid looking at it. I don't know if that's Chucky or one of his goons. Or why the kid looking at him like, I know what's up. You cannot fool me. What's that, pizza? Please tell me y'all know about the conspiracy theory about the, about the pizza. If you don't, and if they don't say it, I'm going to say it at the end of the video. But Jesus. I had to see their kids growing up so fast. But just trying to live in the moment. Nine-year-old Delilah loves Chuck E. Cheese and nothing else. She came to celebrate her cousin's birthday, and in the blink of an eye, she was nowhere to be found. You might be wondering what happened to Delilah. Well, she's a kid, and she loves the arcade. So she got lost in the crowd playing games and having fun. Two hours left until Chuck E. Cheese closes. All the kids are gathering their tickets they've won, getting ready to go to the prize counter and eating their last slices of pizza. Walk that disgusting, sus, grotesque, clucked, reused pizza. Ew. Nine-year-old Delilah is playing her favorite game, skee-ball. Her mom worries where she is, but she knows that Chuck E. Cheese is safe. Oh. Suddenly, Delilah heard a very large screech noise and a very loud bang that ended her life too soon. Oh my God. You might be wondering what happened to nine-year-old Delilah. Oh, I don't care. A 63-year-old woman drove her car into a ditch and hit a telephone pole, causing the tires to fly off her car and go through the window of the near- What are the odds? What are the, like, that, that happening just like that has got to be one, 
and like 907,000 chance. Like that was that man that accident almost that that seems a little that seems a little sus. That's that's a coincidence. Like like the person driving was trying to was trying to destroy that Chuck E. Cheese. That's what that was. That wasn't no that was not random. That that shit was scripted. That she knew what she was doing. By Chuck E. Cheese, striking Delilah. That story right there makes me just think about life a lot, how just randomly things could happen, how scary that is, you know what I mean? That's so scary. Yeah, sad. yeah. And that story is actually true. You can search it up on the internet yourself. But uh, yeah, that actually did happen. And, um, you know, we want to let you guys know about that. Um, it just it just makes me think a lot about life, you know. Yeah, like it, anything can happen anywhere. Yeah, poor little Delilah. I know, I know, sure, little soul is in heaven right now. So yeah. Uh, yeah, that peace. that story is just it's just so scary. I don't know. Uh, all right, um, if you guys are ready for the next story, are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's jump to the next story, guys. It was bound to happen at least once. In January 2016, a woman and her son Caleb were at a celebration for Caleb's soccer team. They had just won their biggest tournament yet, but things quickly turned dark. A strange man that no one knew. Strange? Strange. That's more than strange. He's like the, he's like the, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say CEO. I'm not gonna say vice president. I'm not, you know, he probably like, you know, like a, like a, like a, like a field leader, manager of a sussy or a clucky. Cause God damn it. He he got into he got into Chuck E. Cheese like that. Looking like that, he got into Chuck E. Cheese. Come on, man. Sitting at the end of the team's table. Caleb's mother noticed him but shrugged him off. Oh, oh it must be another one of the parents, she assumed. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so scared about going to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my God, I'm really like real life scared. Like that's the the that was some shit. The reason what the one of the parents or the mom noticed him but didn't do nothing about it or say anything about it is because they didn't go. But sadly, she was wrong. Caleb's mom greeted him with a hello. He sat there in silence until a creepy smirk slowly spread across his face. He stood up quickly and screamed, I want to be a kid again! What? At the top of his lungs. But the thing that scared everyone the most was what was in his hands. A long, bloody blade. How the hell, like, just think about this for a second. Think about this for a second. Put down your snacks. Put down your drinks. Get off the toilet or clench. Stop washing dishes. Wake up. Pull over to the side if you're driving. Stop fighting. If you're clucking right now, stop clucking. <laughs> stop getting one off. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm about to say. If he was able to get into a Chuck E. Cheese looking the way he did, mm. 
Never mind, never mind, never mind the weapon. If he was able to get into Chuck E. Cheese looking the way he did, there it is. What's what's stopping Chuck E. Cheese from letting basically anybody in there? Because real, like, go back. Go back to this image. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Move. Nobody that worked there. No, none of the parents. None of the kids. Said something like, what the fuck? Or something like that. What the fuck? Ugh. On me, on mothers, on everybody. On who, on me, Bob. If I was in Chuck E. Cheese and he walked in, I would have walked right back out. What are you talking about? Parents, she assumed. But sadly, she was wrong. No shit. Caleb's mom greeted him with a hello. He sat there in silence until a creepy smirk slowly spread across his face. He stood up quickly and screamed, I want to be a kid again! at the top of his lungs. But the thing that scared everyone the most was what was in his hands, a long, bloody blade. Everyone screamed. Caleb clung tightly to his mother. The staff called security and men came flooding in. Luckily, this particular Chuck E. Cheese was prepared and held him down until the police came and took him away. But what you mean? What you mean prepared? Like, like prepared? Like, like y'all know that Chuck E. Cheese is like one of the hot spots to attract cluckies. So, so y'all prepared? Is that what you mean? Because otherwise. Why would I be prepared? It's like I knew he was coming. Pause. Who knows what would have happened if Chuck E. Cheese hadn't reacted in time. He would have clocked all y'all uh, in the ah, What are you talking about? We don't know what, man. And what did he mean? He wants to be a kid again. Well, like what he said too was really, really scary. Like. I don't. I wonder what was his plan. Like, what was he gonna do? Yeah. Imagine you're just. That would scare just, me so. Much. Imagine being that kid. Yeah. Imagine you're just chilling, just having your birthday, and just see that going on. It's just yeah. traumatizing. You know. You're having a good day and stuff. And wow, I bet he never forgot that. Ugh. I'm so glad they got him in time, though. Oh man, that is. I I give him the he they creeps. It just it creeps me out. I don't know. Ugh. You guys, um. If you guys are still watching right now, comment Chuck E. Cheese doesn't eat his pizza. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we, we know that you're watching um, right now. Just still. making sure, guys. Yeah, just, just making, making sure, sure if you're still watching right I hope now. Okay? Scared. All right, you guys ready for the next story? Yeah. All right, next story. It was just another average day at Chuck E. Cheese. There was only one party going on at Chuck E. Cheese today, and it was 11 a.m. on a Saturday. Pretty early for a birthday but only because Hazel, the birthday girl, was turning one. So when 20-year-old Arion D'Amico entered the building, something was off immediately. He was the only other person there, and he was flying solo. Everyone was just minding their own business and carried on with the celebration. But Hazel's grandfather, Harold, noticed that Arion was staring at them and inquired what he was doing. Within a heartbeat, Arion had shot at him three times and kept firing randomly at three of his other family members. Harold tackled him down to the ground. Even though he had been shot, he wasn't about to let his family go down like that. With this last ounce of strength, Harold knocked the gun out of his hand and a nearby Chuck E. Cheese employee grabbed it and pointed it towards the shooter. As Hazel cried in the stroller, the animatronics kept singing Happy Birthday to you Hell no. over and over again. 
Luckily, Harold and all of Hazel's family members were able to recover from the gunshot wounds, but they would never forget the haunting sounds of Hazel's shrieks mixed with Chucky and his band happily chanting, Happy birthday from Chucky. Oh my god, the part about the baby crying with like the happy birthday song in the background, just like, ugh. It gave me like shivers down my spine. Ugh. ugh. <laughs> wow, that was scary. I can't even That's only... so scary. Like something to just think about, you know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Was... Oh my god, imagine like it's your first birthday and that happens. <sighs> that At was... least she doesn't have to remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, if you're still watching, comment happy birthday, Nicole and Edward, even though it's not our birthday this morning. Yeah. We want to know if you're Let's watching. Confuse we want to, people in the comments. We want to see the MVPs who are still watching. Mm. All right, you guys ready for part four of these scary Chuck E. Cheese stories? Yeah. All right, let's do it. It was just another rainy day in Indiana. Leslie Owens, a janitor at Chuck E. Cheese, was happily sweeping up after a five-year-old's big... Happily sweeping up? At Chuck E. Cheese? She being held hostage. Birthday ticket splash. The five-year-old was Ricky Martinez. He came every weekend with his mom. But today, something felt weird. Oh, yeah. Leslie saw a tall, bald man who she had never seen before talking to little Ricky and following him. Leslie just assumed this was Ricky's dad until she saw him talking to every little boy in the arcade. Leslie approached Ricky and gently asked him, Hey, is that man your father? And the answer Ricky gave her sent shivers down her spine. I don't know him, but he's going to take me to Disneyland right after this. Oh, no! He says my mom said it's okay. Leslie frantically searched for the man, only to discover he was sneakily taking Polaroids of children entering the bathroom. Leslie called her manager and then frantically called the police. Apparently, Ricky had been kidnapped from his backyard and his mother was worried sick. Leslie is grateful she was very perceptive that day, otherwise, who knows what would have happened to Ricky. Wow. Whoa. Oh my god. I would. I, man, that oh guy would god. be. Oh my god. We would, we would all bang. We I would, we would all would, bang up on him. Everybody would just like. Yeah, that's horrible. That's so disgusting. Especially like where I, I grew up. I grew up in Los Angeles, like the hood. If that were to happen in the hood. Oh, oh my oh, god. You would over. Like, over with. You're done. That would never happen. Oh my god. Not in the hood. No, no. I'm just like, I know this happened in Indiana. This is a small town. So I'm just grateful they caught on to it before it was like too late. Because that is so scary. That's. Yeah. That is creepy, man. Yeah. That's a messed up story. Yeah. Man. And if I ever saw somebody like that, I would. <clears throat> yeah. If you guys are still watching, comment Edward and Nikki are hood. I want to see who's the real MVPs, okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're on to the last scary Chuck E. Cheese story. This one is insane. You guys have to grab on to something because this one's a... Why she, why she look... I didn't want to say nothing, but like, why she looking at him like that? Like, I they... Like, you know what I mean? Or I don't... Yeah, I don't know them at all. <laughs> uh, only reason I'm doing, I'm doing reacting, I'm reacting to this story is because it's related to what I'm about to do. But other than that, I do not know them at all. Um, but it's just, so, uh, I don't want to say too much. Wild, wild story, okay? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Little Anthony Lopez was at a Chuck E. Cheese late night with his mom, celebrating his- That ball pit is so scary for some reason. It is so scary. Great graduation, no friends, and no family. Anthony and his mom managed to have fun all by themselves. They celebrated by eating lots of pizza and arcade games. As Anthony was fascinated with all the amazing games, Anthony's mom went to the salad bar like any other mother would. Honey, I'll be right back. Don't go away from my eyesight. 
Okay, Mom, he yells. As Anthony was playing by the slide, Chucky came up to him and waved at Anthony. He was so happy and loved this part. Chucky leaned over and whispered to Anthony, Follow me for tickets. Oh, no! Anthony said, Okay. As the other kids tried to tag along, Chucky looked back and pointed at Anthony only. As the kids walked back, away from Chucky and Anthony. Anthony officially was in the back of the Chuck E. Cheese all by themselves. In the dark, where all the mechanisms happening for the animatronics. Quiet. The only thing you hear is metal twisting from the animatronics. As Chuck E. Cheese was staring at Anthony, Anthony was confused and asked, Where's the tickets? Then Chucky took off his head. It was a sweaty old man hair all greasy and smelly, stared at Anthony and was breathing really heavily and said, I'll see you soon and opened the emergency door and ran off. What the? Anthony also ran back to his mom and started crying. What is it, honey? Chucky Cheese is a bad guy. He took me to the back. Anthony's mom was furious and went to the manager. The manager looked very confused at Anthony's mom and replied, Chucky stopped coming out to the kids one week ago due to maintenance on the costume. Everyone was confused as the manager wanted to get to the bottom of this. He went to the office and looked at the camera and saw the whole thing happen. Apparently, a random car drove up, went to the back with a black garbage bag, and put a Chucky e. Cheese costume on and went inside. Everyone panicked as they closed immediately. They called the cops and made an investigation. Years have passed by, and until this day, they still never knew who the guy was. Like I said, the only reason I'm, I, I, I reacted to this video, this random ass video, is because I'm doing a, um, <clears throat> I plan on going to Chuck E. Cheese with Baby Girl, and I just wanna hype myself up as much as I can. But I don't know if I'm hyping myself up as much as I am scaring the living shit out of me. But other than that, um, I'm not ready. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm nervous. The Lord only knows how nervous I'm going to be when I'm actually there too, Jesus. God damn. But keep cool, keep classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my family.